In this video, I want to do a quick tutorial on how to conduct sort of more complicated hypothesis tests uh, just with uh, sort of linear hypotheses in R. It turns out that there's this command in R that makes this all very easy, but it's not, it doesn't come in the basic packages in R. So this video is going to have two objectives. One is to show you how to install a package that has a nice command that maybe you want to use. Uh, and the other one is to show you how to conduct um, or how, how to get R to conduct a multiple restriction hypothesis test uh, for you without too much trouble. This car library has something, uh, has a command that we would like to use called linear hypothesis. And it's going to make things really slick. It's going to be a really easy way to conduct uh, multiple hypothesis tests at the same time, multiple restrictions at the same time. Um, so that's going to be useful. But first, we have to convince R that that command exists. And there are two levels on which uh, we need to do this. First, we need to actually have the commands on our computer somewhere. Uh, and that's what this install.packages uh, command is going to do. So if you type in R, install.packages, and then put in quotes and as the first argument of this function you put in quotes the name of the package you'd like to install that's going to install the package it's going to ask R to go and do this I'm going to show you what it looks like um, in just a second the other thing you should specify is dependencies equals true because some of these packages have helper packages and these helper packages are essential for the functioning of the regular one R knows sort of what uh, what packages depend on what. And if you type this command here, it will install everything that you need from the car package. If you want to use any function in car, you will have everything at your disposal. So let's go ahead and run this, see, see what it looks like. I've already done this, so I'm not going to go through the whole process. But if we run this install.packages command, it's going to pop up with this thing that says cran mirror and a whole bunch of locations. Now, the key thing here is that you just pick one of these. I tend to just pick the one that's closest to where I am. I don't know, Michigan or Ohio. There isn't really anything in Illinois. Once you pick that, click OK. It's just going to, over here in the command window, there, it's going to spit out a lot of blue and red text. Uh, it's going to have a, a display window that uh, says that it's installing things. Just let it do its work, and it should by the end of that install everything successfully I mean like once you get to this window it it should just go um, if it doesn't work maybe try it again and select a different location um, so I, I just I just canceled out of that so it didn't spit out all the output because I've already done this I've installed car on my computer now car is on my computer but R doesn't load it when it starts up it's a uh, it's one of those packages that just sits in the background kind of like foreign where it's on the computer but uh, we only bring it out when uh, when we actually want to use it so uh, to get it out where we can use it we can run this command library car and this is going to load the car library and now we have uh, all the commands in the car library at our disposal which is great because there's this linear hypothesis command that we'll be using pretty soon and this package is a uh, is a widely used one. I've used this multiple, multiple times. A um, lot, lot of nice commands in there. Um, okay, so let's get a data set in. Uh, this data set's going to look familiar. I've added a variable since last time called parents education, but we'll see that. Um, notice we're using the, li the foreign library because I want to read in a Stata file. And okay, so we've read that in, and now we've got uh, some sense for the data. We've got wage, education, experience, parents education and gender and again this is synthetic data I've created this sort of on my own okay so now let's estimate a regression so let's do kind of a, a nice complicated regression we're going to have log wage as our dependent variable education plus experience plus parents education plus gender so four explanatory variables uh, this one's categorical but R is going to coerce that into a dummy variable for us so let's just go ahead and run this and see what we get. This, this table only gives us uh, information about whether each coefficient is individually zero. So 
education, a hypothesis that education has, uh, has zero effect, uh, has a t-value of uh, 7.56, very small p-value, so we'll reject that. But what if I wanted to know if education was 0.1? Or uh, what if I wanted to know if uh, the effect of education plus experience was 0.1? I mean, I should note that there is this other test here, the omnibus F test, where all of the effects, education, experience, parents, education, gender, male, are all zero. That's, that's what the null hypothesis is there. So that's, that's also a test that comes standard. But aside from the omnibus F test and the individual T tests, R doesn't really give you much more as default. Let's consider this linear hypothesis command. And this linear hypothesis command is going to be a really nice way to conduct the tests, uh, uh, conduct linear hypothesis tests. So suppose I wanted to know uh, something about the null hypothesis that uh, education, the effect of education plus the effect of experience is uh, 0.1. I, I don't know why I would want to know this null hypothesis. This is just a toy uh, example to illustrate sort of how this works and illustrate the syntax. Well, once you have the car library loaded, there's this function called linear hypothesis. It's a lowercase l uppercase h. If you try doing it any other way, R has no idea what you're talking about. So you need to, it's case sensitive. So linear hypothesis. Use that command. You put your linear model object that you stored from up here when you estimated your regression. That's your first argument. And then in the second argument, in quotes, you put the restriction you want to test. Sort of thinking of the variable name as the beta coefficient. So if I want to know beta education, plus beta experience equals 0.1, this command will produce output that will give me that test. So let's see what this output looks like. So we just ran this command and it gave us, it gave us some output. And so let's, let's just take a look and zero in on what, uh, what's important about this. this. This is precisely the F test that we want. This is, you can use sort of verbal a depiction of what your uh, hypothesis test is. So here's the hypothesis that you're testing, and then here's the p-value from that hypothesis test. Here is the F statistic for that hypothesis test. And so we're able to, in this case, we're able to just barely reject the null hypothesis that the sum total of those two effects is uh, equal to 0.1, uh, at the 5% level. That's just one hypothesis test. Uh, notice we only have one restriction here. This is going to be an F with one, uh, one numerator degree of freedom. You could do this with a T test statistic. If you know how to form that ratio, you can do that sort of by hand using the variance covariance matrix. You can figure out the T statistic. That T statistic, if you square it, will give you this F. So that's, uh, that's going to be uh, something to keep in the back of your mind is you know, there are multiple test statistics that can perform the same test. This one uses a standard methodology that always uses an F stat. In particular, we can test more than one restriction at the same time. Let's, let's do an example of more than one restriction tested at the same time. Suppose I want to test not only this hypothesis of beta education plus beta experience equals 0.1, but maybe I want to test the hypothesis at the same time that the effect of uh, being male is 0 0.05 and that the uh, sum total of the effect of parents' education and uh, ed education of the child uh, is, is zero. So I want to test three restrictions, and these are my three restrictions. Well, it turns out that the linear hypothesis command is, has a really easy extension to uh, to actually do this test. I'm just going to put that uh, the command here and then we can talk about it. You go linear hypothesis, lowercase l, uppercase h. You put your uh, linear model object here. And then inside this C command, which is going to form a vector of hypothesis uh, restrictions here, inside this C wrapper command, what we'll do is just put our each restriction that we want to, to test in quotes. 
So gender male equals 0 0.05, parents education plus education equals zero, uh, education plus experience equals 0.1, all of those are the restrictions that we want to test in our linear hypothesis, um, and so we have a we have we don't have to think about sort of setting up a matrix of of restrictions here, multiplying that by uh, by various things. This linear hypothesis command will actually do everything that we need it to do. Lo and behold, it does. It produces the F stat with three numerator degrees of freedom. You can see that right here. And it produces, importantly, the p-value, and that allows us to determine whether uh, there's strength of, uh, we have any strength of evidence against this null hypothesis, uh, this joint null hypothesis, these three restrictions. Any of these three restrictions are violated, we should reject this null hypothesis. So this linear hypothesis command has kind of a nice, uh, a nice syntax to it. I highly recommend it having written a, a really shoddy version of, of this where it doesn't have a nice syntax. This is really beautiful syntax, and um, it's, it sort of parallels how, uh, how Stata's post-estimation uh, test command actually works. Um, and, you know, this is, a, this is a pretty straightforward way to test multiple restrictions, and it, it may be useful in your own applications.